So I want to maximize this function here. Alpha x plus 1 minus beta x, x belongs to 0 and 1, where alpha and beta are parameters. How do I maximize this function? Well, that, that's the step that many people do right now of 
automatically. This is exactly what I want to prevent you guys from doing. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. You felt uh, often we are here parameters. Maybe this is bigger than zero. Maybe it's more than zero. There's no x in this equation. Right? We cannot simply say that this is equal to zero. Maybe this guy here is two, and this guy here is one, and it's bigger than zero. Maybe this guy here is minus five, and this guy here is one, and this is more than zero. We cannot simply go there and make it equal to zero. All right. Um, set it greater than its lower bound and then less than its upper bound? Well, it, it, it depends on this condition here uh, overall, right? Yeah. So this, when, uh, when the other side is right, uh, when we don't have x, we're choosing x here. x is a variable of choice. If we don't have x in the first order condition, it means that it's a corner solution. Okay? So there are three possible cases. First of them is, so, Okay. 
tensor here. X star. This function now, this, this maximization problem now is have a solution because this is a bounded continuous function in a compact space, and large star large star theorem says that there is a solution for this problem always. But it's just this is always called this maximization problem. It's very common in economics when I find problems like that. We call this quarter solution. Uh, I just a few times in the class today we're going to use this condition. A few times. Please more most things twice the time. Any questions so far?
So can you only remind me what was the definition of Nash equilibrium before? Yes. Um, a situation where nobody has incentive to change his strategy unilaterally. Okay. I'm sorry, where can I pick it? Rohan? Rohan. But what that, and we're still going to stick to this definition. The definition does not change. The same definition as we had before. I'm just putting it back here again and showing what it means with this, with, with the, this new definition of stock.
these two are attached to the same, to the same uh, definition of Nash equilibrium that we were before. But, but now, what I'm basically meaning is that we choose the probability there. So going back, we are slightly moving towards our example that I had before of your Sire and the Nazis. I'm going to have them in the board again. But, uh, but before we get there, uh, this is the problem they will be solving. The Sire is going to look up. There is an assumption here before. We're going to assume that they, they, uh, they maximize expected utility. Just for those of you who are really curious and, uh, and formal, this is not exactly something that comes directly from rationality. Okay, rationality does not mean that people maximize expected uh, We need some more assumption. And many psychologists have criticized uh, this assumption of expected utility. And so does uh, Kahneman, who won the Nobel Prize. Psychologists who won the Nobel Prize in economics. Uh, they criticize a lot of this assumption. Uh, we still can solve games without the assumption, but it gets way easier than this. So we're assuming they are going to maximize the expectability. So basically our problem before, which was just to choose an action, now is a, is a maximization problem. The sign has an utility y of u of y of p and q. And p is the probability that he takes, uh, that he gets, uh, that he chooses one action. And q is the probability that the Nazis choose an action. He takes the probability of the Nazis choose an action as given and maximizes expected utility. But the Nazis are do, Nazi doing the same. They take the probability that your study chooses an action p as given and they choose q. And they, this q that they choose maximizes the expected utility. and your salary except for now. Any questions? Okay. Let's work some numbers here. that we had before. Right, this story goes somewhat like this, but in the end it's just about cracking numbers. This story goes, oh, if you're a scion and the Nazis, they both go to the street, the scion gets caught and, uh, and the Nazis are happy because they, they capture the, the prisoner. If your scion goes to the mountains, uh, he's really happy because he escaped, he goes to the street. As he goes to the mountain, he's really happy because he escaped from them, and they are like not very happy because they didn't catch him. Uh, if he goes to the mountain and he goes to the street, uh, he's happy, but he still got tired before he gets to the airplane, so he gets to the horn and Nazis get zeros. But if both of them goes to the mountain, go to the mountain uh, he has a utility of minus one because he gets captured, and they have a utility of one because they get Okay? 
As you have seen, if you look at this before, trying to find the pure strategy that should deliver, we're going to see that there is no such strategy. Just remind, covering this, uh, there is again, if the Nazis are going through the street, your sire would like to go through the mountains. If the Nazis are going through the mountains, your sire would like to go through the street. If the Nazis are going through the street, if your sire is going through the street, the Nazis would rather go through the street. And if your sire is going to the mountains, the Nazis would like to go to the mountains. So pure strategy Nazi equilibrium, the easiest way to find is to do the exercise that I just did. And look at the situations where there are two, there are two lower bars in there. And in this game here, there is no pure strategy Nazi equilibrium. And now let's see if there is one big structure that should be.
Rebecca here. So if cube is more than three fifths, what's going to happen? What should your sudden do if the Nazis are going to the street uh, with probabilities more than three fifths? The fortiori condition is bigger than zero in this case. What does it mean that we learn from here? What is P? We're solving for P. P is going to be between what? P. But this implies that it's going to go to the street of probability 1, which means that it goes to the street for sure. OK, but we don't know which probability the Nazis are going, are, are going to go to the street or not. So there's this other case. Now what is what is the optimal thing that your sign should be doing? If the Nazis are going to the mountain's probability three fifths, 
what is the optimal thing the sun should do? <coughs> Does it matter? It doesn't matter, right? Because for any probability that he goes to anywhere, and as is a, it's his indifferent between going to, to the mountains or going to the street. So anything between zero and one is just for game, because it's indifferent. Studying this or they should be doing, given what the Nazis are doing. Okay? We yet haven't find Nash game. Because we have to look for the other players in this game. We still haven't figured out what the Nazis want to do. Okay? Let's look at the Nazi problem now. So the Nazis, they are they are maximized, they want to maximize. This 
the for sure condition. Speed times omega squared. So what is the optimal Q, the optimal probability that an ISIS should be going to the street? So again, are not going to the street as often, and in this case, the Nazis would like to go to the mountains. But it's also the other possible case that actually the Australians again are going 50% of the time to the mountains and 50% of the time to the street, and that's what the business in general do. 50% of the time they go to one side, 50% of the time they go to the other side. And if this is the case, what is the optimal strategy for the Nazis? It doesn't matter. Any, it's not of power. Anything that they do is okay because it, they, they expect to do the same thing. Well, 
which means that q star is equal to 1. But here we assume that the q was smaller than 3 fifths. So this cannot be an equilibrium, right? Because if they're not going to this, they're not going to the street very often. The sign wants to go to the street very often. Therefore, they would like to go to the street very often. That's not a good thing. do better than that. Let's see the other case where the nines are going there very often. OK? The cube is equal to 0 0.9. They go to the street all the time. They never go to the mall. Place. In this case, what does the sign want to do? If you try to to 0, he wants to go to the mall. Place. But if he wants to go to the mountains, he's always going to the mountains. Means the p is bigger than our health. Therefore, the Nazis also never want to go to the street. They also they always want to go to the mountains. So this also can be ideal. And we're going back to the you said that uh, there cannot be an equilibrium pure strike. Them, uh, if there is some probability that the are going to inside, such that uh, your sign and your sign has a probability that you, they want to go to inside, such that uh, they always want to keep going to each of the sides of this probability. Let's solve an equilibrium now. So I'm sorry, I just showed you two things that are not an equilibrium. Now I'm going to show you something that is actually an equilibrium. So what I have argued here is that there cannot be an equilibrium where three fifths is a probability. And they cannot, oh, something big, smaller than 3 fifths is a probability that Nazis are going there. And there cannot be an equilibrium or something bigger than 3 fifths the Nazis are, uh, the Nazis are going to go to the street. But let's check out all the case where actually the Nazis are going there a probability of 3 fifths. Thank you. 